Welcome back all you soapers and soapies and welcome back to the soapery. It is Heather here again. So what we're going to do today is more Valentine's Day prep and uh, soap um, making for the holiday and early spring. Um, Today, I'm going to be doing a couple batches, but first I'm going to start off with Bite Me by Nature's Garden. Um, it's very floral, I mean not floral, very fruity. Um, my Valentine's Day video hearts, they're in the same fragrance, um, and they smell wonderful. So, um... It's going to be in my Nurture Soap 15 pound 2 loaf mold. Um, what I'm going to do is put this heart cane in the middle of both loaves. And what I plan on doing is taking red and white, <clears throat> excuse me, and pouring it, uh, probably drop swirl or in the pot swirl, pouring it, half it out, half of the loaf, put the heart cane in, and then I'm gonna to top it with the remainder of the white and red swirled, and then the top frosting, I'm gonna do black and red, but, um, so colors, what I'm going to be using, again, are from Nurture Soap, and the link will be down um, in my description. Uh, I'm going to be using Nurture Soap Queen of Hearts and Nurture Soap Ruby Red. I'm going to blend them together and uh, get a nice deep red. And then the black, I'm going to use the Black Iron Oxide from Nurture Soap. And the activated charcoal from Nurture Soap, well, excuse me, to get it real black.
So now, I'm going to do a little bit of the in the pot. Wait. Yeah, because yeah, I'm doing red on the top. So all this white will be getting put in the mold. I don't need much red because this is only going to be an accent color. I can get rid of a little bit of this black. Just a little bit because I'm going to need most for the frosting. But I think a little bit more of this we can get it rid of. And that should do it for that. So now, let's get our mold over here. Move that back. And now we're just going to pour half of this. Oh boy. It is definitely heavy. Okay, half. Uh, half. Now, what we're going to do is pack this out. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to just hit it with just the teensiest bit of that because we're going to have to get these canes. I want to see how we're doing over here with frosting wise. Um, so... <clears throat> if we're going to have a lot of frosting left over, or on batter, I mean, we will do something with it. I mean, I don't waste anything. So let's just let this sit up a sec, and then see if our canes will sit on the top of it, because I don't want them sinking. What the heck happened here? Alright. Let's see how it's going to work. Okay, guys. I don't know what happened, but um, we lost some footage of me pouring the... Um, Pouring the batch, and then when I was putting the canes in, uh, the camera went off. I don't know what happened. So, um, I'm just going to get to piping here. This black keeps acting up. I don't know what's going on, but it's acting, though, as it's not even ready to go. But when it is definitely in the bowl, it sets up crazy. So what we're going to do is because this is the bottom layer, I'm just going to get this pipe on here. It's not going to look the best, but we will fix it.
is definitely ready to fart. So now we're gonna go just on top of little rosettes. We're gonna do three. down. bar is always a sample anyway <clears throat> so we will only do that here if we have enough sometimes I just cannot see with these goggles Accidents, ugh, accidents can still happen when you're piping, but I always suggest you wear your goggles to your finish, but I just can't see with them on and they get all fogged up. They're supposed to be anti-fog, but they fog up to me. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit here on the end. Now, I don't know if we're gonna have enough to do. We'll try. All we need is just little dollops. I don't need much. I don't want it like at a peak. I just want to fill these in here. We might just, we might not make the whole thing. So what we're going to do here is, whoa, where'd that go? We're not going to do these end pieces because they're samples anyway. Kind of go through here and just fill these little pieces in here. Two dollops. Not much. We do have, then we come back and fill them in. Oop, that fell on the top. There. We're good. Let's just put a little there. Put there. There. I don't need it to be perfect on that because I'm going to be covering most of it up. I 
Okay, let's hit it with some alcohol. Lots, because we don't want it to ash. That we don't. Now, These I know we're not going to have enough of. So what I'm going to do is where's my little hearts? You put one of these in the middle and this. Let's see how these are going to look. So first, I want to put some black glitter on top. Let's just uh, let it dry. black glitter. I mean, it sparkles, but this is what I want the most. Then I'll put a light layer on here. And then I'll go through and I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little hearts. I'm just going to cut some. They were from the canes in the soup. Get my knife. I always, I forgot to mark my mold, so let me do that quick. Let's get that off, because that'll just smear my Sharpie. It is pouring. These last two days have been rain, rain, rain. The reason why I don't mark, permanently mark my molds is to the fact that sometimes I make wider bars on certain bars. So I just... What I do is I just um, mark the press and seal or the cling wrap, whatever I happen to be using um, at that time. What I'm making and all that because I really don't want to permanently mark because then if I do have to mark... Uh, something for a different size then I'm gonna get all confused and it's just easier for me to mark it as I need it to be marked so let me cut this into little pieces here Seven, 12, 13, 
16. I'll make sure I have enough. 10th to be a perfectionist I have enough hearts. I thought I counted right. Ten off. It is a poop. So as I get up the mole, I mean up the log, I turn it around. <sighs> then I can tell if they are lined up better. And if they're like within the right spacing apart. Which that looks about right. I'll finish this one off. when that happens. Move that at the end because most likely that is going to be a sample bar.
This looks about right. We're a little off over here. Make sure it is straight. Everything looks. I can't stand when something's crooked and it really bothers me. Not in the middle of something. If the heart is sitting kind of funky leaning forward leaning back it's too far down that looks about right okay now i'm gonna put these guys on top These guys fall in the middle. I just push them to the side. Now the ones that look like they're hanging on just by a thread, I push them down. Other than that, I let them just fall wherever. Just don't want a lot of them falling off. Just put them all over the place. That looks about right. Push the ones down that are hanging on. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. This is actually Monday the 30th that I'm making this. I have not been feeling well since the holidays. Um... I don't know what happened, but I just don't feel great. I'm so thirsty. I feel like I've been hit by a truck or somebody beat me with a baseball bat. Just don't feel really great. Okay. Now I'm going to put more sparkies on. Just a titch of gold, <laughs> titch of gold. And we're going to call this one quits. <laughs> so, I didn't get to use these yet, but we'll find something for them to be used on. I was thinking of putting some sugar on top or some sea salt. Hmm. Let's see how it looks. Just do a little bit here. 
Yeah, it looks pretty cheap. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just gives it that extra spark and not spark or either like it's like diamonds, little sparks of diamonds. Okay, now we're done. Whew, thank God. Okay, guys, we're back to cut Bite Me. Um, this is definitely for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start getting cut. I just want to cut off the ends here. This uh, end bar. I think it's cut off a little slice of it. And then I'm going to flip it on its side. Well, that turned out pretty damn good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry if you keep hearing me clear my throat. Um, my acid reflux is really bad today. Sorry. So we're going to go ahead and get this into some bars here. This has been sitting a very long time since I made this. I made this before Christmas. It is now um, January 5th. So, let's go ahead and get this cut into bars. I hope everybody had a great holiday, New Year's and Christmas. I did. I'm glad it's over. I did get some ash on the top. Um, as um, I'm ready to, after they're done curing, um, I always steam the tops. So that'll all come off, but they look pretty cool. And these are really big bars. I'm going to have to weigh it quick. Let me get my little guy out. And just see. Um, I'm getting ready to make a whole bunch of soap, so my work area is kind of all messed up. I have to get my little scale out here, just my little one, my standby. Turn it on ounces. Oh, there. Okay, so these bars are weighing. Holy crap. Almost 11 now. It's like 10.8. 10.8 ounces. That is one huge bar of soap. You guys could easily cut this in half. Even right there above the heart. And get two bars of soap out of one. These are going to be priced just a little bit more in my shop. On my website. Um... So, they're most likely going to be $9.50 because they are so big. But let's see what the other ones are coming out. They should be coming in around the same exact um, size. Pretty darn close. I have a in bed that's a little off kilter here. Okay, now we're good. <clears throat> I guess as it was gelling, it kind of bent the in bed a little bit, but we're back to business. They look pretty darn cool. Let's see what this one's weighing at to see. They should be all roughly the same size. Yeah, 11, 8, I mean, I'm sorry, 10, 8. This one's almost 11, so we are definitely in the good range. The reason the variation is, is my uh, hard embeds on the top are, some are uh, thinner than others, but they're all a pretty good 
I'm going to say at least a quarter inch or bigger in beds. Sorry about my dogs. They want to be a pain today. And bark at every single thing. Okay, let's just get through these. So yeah, they're really cool. <clears throat> so, I actually need a really thinner bar here because we're kind of off a little bit on my embeds. I don't know what happened. But they're all going to be big bars. That's for darn sure. So what we're going to do, since I'm a little off here, I'm going to cut it here and then that will be a sample bar. Alright. Put that one off to the side. Yeah, because I must have got a little off track on this, Lou. That happens. Alright, we're back. We are definitely back on. Alright. Gotta be careful of that in bed in the middle. Whoops. They are really cool. I couldn't be happier with these. This design came to me in bed. I always like to sit back and think like what I'm gonna make like for different holidays and stuff i have some pretty cool uh ones coming up i want to do something like for saint patty's day like has reference like a pot of gold and, like a shamrock in the middle i want to start experimenting a lot with um soap dough so, I want to kind of get into that aspect. I've never tried um, soap dough and all that. Um, it just seemed like always um, either the recipes I came across I really didn't like what was in them or um, to keep prices stable. I know one of the oils that are used in that, which I think is Bavisu, um, that is an expensive oil. And to keep prices down, um, you definitely have to, um, especially when you use organic and non-GMO oils like I do. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you just have to be careful. So we're going to get through this log. And then um, the other log. We're going to speed through that like usual. This is a 15 pound. It's seven and a half and seven and a half. But because they're high tops, they weigh a heck of a lot more. So it's 15 pounds of oils, I think, because I do a water discount. Where is my... It ends up being like... Uh... Where are we at here? Uh, like 21 and a half pounds total. I use my Nurture Soap um, 15 pound double log molds that I got that were on sale because she's redoing her um, molds. So. I use the same recipe in my tall skinnies too. It's the same exact um, batch size and everything. 
so it keeps it easy that way that I have two different molds um, one my husband made and one of course for nurture so that I don't have to resize anything so this smells wonderful it smells fruity but it has an everessence to it like a I'm not going to say it's citrusy. It just smells very fruity. Cleany kind of um, smell. It's not like cleaning products. It just smells wonderful. So if you've ever smelled it, it is the same as... Um, it's the nature's garden bite me, so it is definitely um, a good fragrance oil. Okay, so I will have a couple sample bars that either be sent out as samples and orders or um, what I'm gonna do is I might start putting like smaller bars thinner bars I should say in like packs kind of how other soap makers do never really thought about it until recently but I mean I guess not everybody wants a huge bar and they will be priced accordingly I will cut those after the cure all right I will see you back at the end Thank you. 
Okay, so that is Bite Me. I think it turned out wonderful. Um, I really like how the swirls turned out. The black is actually black. Um, I will be steaming this, so that red is the same red as here, and the black is, so it'll definitely um, be black, red, and white. Um, yes, I am going to be cutting a lot more soap today and making soap. So, what I want to let you know is all this will be loaded to my shop, my website. On January 25th, I'm going to have it loaded by 3 p.m. So, I will get out all orders that are in the 48 states. I will have them to you before Valentine's Day. So, the earlier you order, the earlier you will get it. So... Again, these bars are going to be priced a little bit higher than my um, other bars, only because they weigh anywhere between 10, 8, and 11, depending piping-wise and how big the embed was on top. But all the embeds are roughly a quarter inch or more. The hearts on top, I mean. So, it is a good deal. You could easily, easily cut this in to two bars or cut it right there and use both or whatever. Whatever you want to do with it, when you get it, it's up to you. So, I will be getting my subscription boxes ready, everybody. They will be ready. The first to second week of February and if you order the February box I will have it to you depending when you order it by the end of February then the first week of March I will have the new one out and it will be all things to do with that month so like the February box, even though it's coming out late for Valentine's Day, if you still want Valentine's Day stuff in there, there might be one or two things like bath bombs or whatever and one bar of soap. But I'll probably be putting more like early spring scents in there um, because it will probably be past Valentine's Day by the time you get it. So, March will be St. Patty's Day stuff will be in it, and spring things will be also in it, um, soaps and bath bombs. Um, I'm trying to get room sprays together and um, some sugar scrubs. So, every month, I will have like 12 months out of the year, there will be a subscription box. Whether you get the small or the large... Uh, the small is going to be 40, the big is going to, the large is going to be 80. And I'm going to try to have it to where I can include shipping on that price. I have to look because shipping rates did go up a little bit. But I think if I read it correctly, residential stayed the same. But you have to pick who you want to deliver. I think it stayed the same with. UPS, if I remember correctly. I'm sorry. Um, I will have more information on that when, on the shipping with the subscription boxes, when it comes closer to me releasing them. So, um, I'm going to be cutting some more soaps here and then making some soaps. So, I will see you for the next batch. And like, share, subscribe, please. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Tell all your friends and family that if they like watching the same type of things that you do, that, hey, subscribe and like my videos if you like them. I hope you do. I try my hardest. Um, and spring, I'm going to be taking you out also. 
before or after my this probably mostly gonna be before my soaping videos start I'm going to start showing you around my property, like homesteading and all that that I do, my gardening, what works for me, and all that with planting tips and my chickens and my ducks and all that goody stuff. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you back for the next batch.